Hi friends, welcome to this class. And this class is on uh, chemical reactions of furan. So in last class we we synthesized the furan from Palmer synthesis. And there is one more method. See, consider this one. This is furan. You know, this is furan. And if we if I replace this hydrogen by CHO, then it is for furan. AL stands for aldehyde group CHO. If I heat it at 673 Kelvin in presence of zinc as a catalyst, I am going to get furan. This is the derivative of that is we are going to get furan and carbon monoxide will be released out. In this way, we can synthesize furan. So which were, which I have forgotten, so I took the in this class. And also we discussed in previous class that if this is the structure of furan, there will be 5 electron cord like this and like this. Because of this electron cord, 5 electron cord, the electrophile which are deficient of electrons are going to attack them. So here we are going to discuss about electrophilic substitution reaction. And also in previous class I told why those will undergo substitution, why not addition. So this is about electrophilic substitution reaction. See here I have furan and here it is CH3COO 3 If I make furan to react with it, then I am going to get 2 nitro furan. That is nitration. Because of uh, furan attacks to this position, I am going to get nitration. If the SO3 in presence of pyridine as solvent, if reacts with furan, I am going to get furan to sulfonic acid. That is, electrophile is going to act attached to second position. That is, sulfonyl, furanyl to sulfonyl acid. In presence of ether, acyl group, we are, get, we are going to get acylation. That is nothing but friedel craft acylation. All these are good examples for electrophilic substitution reaction and for halogenation if I consider this furan if I reacted it with halogen then I am going to get distracted structure because its structure will be destroyed so what we do is we, we prepare this from furan we prepare this that is furanic acid to that furanic acid we are going to do halogenation if we do halogenation, we are going to get compound like this. 2 bromo furan. That is nothing but halogene, halogenation. But how to prepare this, this compound, furanic acid? What we do, we take this furan and we treat with it C4H9Li. That is nothing but lithium. This is butane. From butane, we will replace H1H H by lithium. So this is organo metallic compounds which you will learn in organic chemistry because here in organic chemistry see if, we, if you consider this CH4 all these bonds are covalent bonds but here here it will be ionic bond like this it will be ionic bond the alkyl group gets minus and lithium gets plus so it is ionic bond so that is it, it consists of 40 percent covalent means 60% uh, of ionic bond will be there, so these are ionic compounds. So we are going to get the, the compound like this. Here, lithium will attack, and the double bond here, oxygen is here, and we get C4H10. If I treat the, this compound with the carbon dioxide, then I am going to get this furanic acid. This compound when treated with carbon dioxide we are, in acidic medium, I am going to get this furanic acid. From this furanic acid, we are going to get uh, bromination and we will get bro bromine. That is true bromo furanic acid. And this is about electrophilic substitution reaction. But I don't know whether you observed or not, all these electrophiles, nitrate group or sulfonic group, everything attack to the second position. If this is first car, first, second, third, fourth and fifth, see all these group attached to the second position. Why it is so? 
why they attached only to the second position why not third or any any other number why did they there why did they attach this i will discuss in my next class till then take care and have a great day bye